Pete. Big weekend down in the South Bay. San Jose Earthquakes playing their first regular season game, and they got a brand new stadium to yeah. play that in, and the stadium is pretty darn cool. It is cool. <laughs> Kit Doe got them to turn the lights on early for us so we could all check it out. Kit? Yeah, and I got them to give me a soccer ball, too. So. The big feature about this stadium, in my opinion, is how close you are to the action. These here are the uh, ground level seats, 12 feet away from the actual field of play. So if you're, if you're lucky enough, like the ball will actually uh, come right at you, uh, right in the middle of the game. So you have to keep your wits about you if you're going to watch a game out here uh, at the Earthquake Stadium. All right, so the cool thing about the construction of the stadium, the architecture, is that it's uh, what they call steep rake seating. Everything's stacked up really high against each other, and what this does is it concentrates the sound onto the field. The roof captures that sound also, bounces it back down onto the field. They say it's a pretty loud, very intense fan experience as well. Also, they've got a very large uh, outdoor bar. They say it is the largest outdoor bar in North America. Quite a scene out here when they had at least 1,000 people out here uh, during their soft launch a couple weeks ago. All right, uh, Avaya is their sponsor. They're a high-tech partner. They uh, call this a cloud-enabled stadium, which means they've got Wi-Fi everywhere. They've got a fancy app that uh, they use to help with navigation and ticketing and parking and all that. A couple of weeks ago, we have some video of a marketing campaign that they had where what they tried to do is uh, they kicked a soccer ball in uh, a, at least a dozen different cities all around the Bay Area. What they want to do is they make sure that... Uh, they include everybody who's going to be uh, their core base of fans here. Make sure that this is a, a local home environment. They want to make sure that everybody feels welcome here. Joining me now is Marissa Silver. You headed up that marketing campaign. Uh, you went all the way to Sacramento. You think that folks are going to drive all the way from Sacramento to watch a soccer game down here? We have season ticket holders in Sacramento, absolutely. Yeah, so um, now tell me the, the, the kind of atmosphere that you're trying to create. I know that you have this thing called a fan zone. It's a two-acre expanse of grass where you have... Uh, bands and food trucks and things like that. Tell me about that experience, why that was important for you guys to have. Well, absolutely. We wanted to have this two-acre fan zone for fans to be able to interact before the game. Soccer doesn't have stoppage time during the game, so this is a perfect time for fans to come together with the food trucks. There's tons of activities for little kids. You know, soccer is really a youth sport these days, so we have many fields for kids. Yeah, uh, compare and contrast the experience with Levi Stadium. What is it like to go to an NFL game versus a, an MLS game? I think it's a big difference. Like I said, we have a lot of families that come to these games, and that's a really different atmosphere. As well as this stadium, like we said, is really intimate. I don't think you get that at really large stadiums. That's another unique experience here. All right, so their uh, first uh, game of the season here at home is on Sunday against Chicago Fire, 4 p.m. That game is sold out, but uh, you can get tickets on the aftermarket for way over the face value of that, so good luck with that. Look to spend about at least $100 on that. They do have tickets available for these subsequent games. So back to you. Go Earthquakes.